in an evolving landscape of Christianity, the African church has long sought guidance and support from the West, especially European countries. Yet, while African nations have witnessed a proliferation of churches over the past century, suggesting a growing gospel outreach, the situation is different at Christianity's source. Sam Gituku delves into the recent trends in Europe where a growing number are turning away from the church, prompting clergy to innovate their efforts to reclaim the flock's devotion. Europe's rich religious heritage is epitomized by the majestic architectural marvels that grace its major cities. Take for instance Barcelona, Spain, a nation steeped in religious tradition, tracing back through centuries as one of Europe's best preserved medieval cities. Barcelona's skyline is adorned with the timeless beauty of ancient churches, each a testament to the creativity and devotion of generations past. These churches stand as living monuments to history, reflecting a time when Catholicism reigned as the state religion. Even today, Amidst the passage of time, over two-thirds of the population still identify as Catholics. However, the practice of the faith tells a different tale altogether. The faith of the people in this country has really gone down, and we have very few people coming into churches. Most of the churches are closing. They are being turned into garages and um, restaurants. Father Onesmas Muthoka is a Kenyan priest who lived in Catalonia, Spain, for 11 years through his formation, starting in the early 90s. He then moved to Washington, D.C. in the U.S. for specialization before spending some 17 years at Nkoroi Parish, Gong Diocese in Kenya. He returned to Catalonia last December, finding himself back in his formative parish of Santa Joaquima. I find it a little bit difficult to work here, but at the same time, I'm needed to step in and um, help in the church. At the Sunday Mass we attended, there were 24 adults at the 12 o'clock session, accompanied by just four children from one family. The Mass lasted 40 minutes. This is what you'd see in most parts of this um, Catalonia. Uh, it's better in other parts of, the, of Spain. In Kenya, the order of mass is more elaborate, featuring choir interludes, physical offertory, and general participation by the congregation. However, in this particular church, the choir consists of only one individual who serves as both the soloist and the organist. Here, there is no offertory or sadaka as it's known in Kenya, but there is a reason behind it. The church doesn't want to look like it's begging the people. And the offertory has to be more intentional, more from the heart. So they do it into the account or they drop it in the certain places that they can deposit money as they go in or as they go out. That has always been the situation in Spain. No, that has changed with the, with the drop of people going to church. One of the complaints that people had as they stopped going to church is that the church asks too much. Father Muthoka's parish is also a formation house and so has bills to pay. The congregation does not sustain the needs of the center. For example, a religious community like we are, we have jobs that pay us and that's how somehow we run our community and we buy our food and our clothing and all that. And so what led to the decline of this once thriving church that was once bustling with a vibrant community that required ample space to accommodate its needs. When the church kind of forgets the common man, the poor man, the needy person, and kind of you know, dines with the kings or goes very close to the politics and dines with the politicians, then the Christians suffer and they can end up giving up. For over 30 years to mid-70s, Spain was under the rule of a dictator, General Francisco Franco. Catholicism was the state religion and all other religions were prohibited. 
the government controlled much of all social sectors, imposing rules on civil rights. With the passing of the dictator, a new era dawned, giving rise to the ideals of liberalism and secularism. It's a society that kind of looks at each person as a small god. I'm a god. I can make decisions. I can live the way I want. I do not need to be dictated. And again, there is also a feeling of, um, I, don't, I do not want to be controlled. I do not want to be told how to worship my God. Presently, 70% of Spain's population still identify as Catholic, with many continuing the tradition of baptizing their newborn children. However, the follow-up to confirmation often remains incomplete. Statistics reveal that only a third of them actively practice their faith. This shift marks a significant departure from the era when Spain dispatched missionaries to establish churches across Africa and South America. It's not the same. It's, it's no longer the same. The church here needs help. It's the other way around. For now, Father Muthoka and his fellow Carmelites who reside at this parish continue with the work of formation, serving the needs of emerging groupings, including the new catechumens, who appear to prefer a different way of practicing their faith. The only difference is that they celebrate their masses on Saturday evening. Why Saturday evening? I think with the word, with the teachings of the Sabbath, uh, for them it's more of a Saturday evening than a Sunday morning, I would like to think. I asked Father Muthoka if there are lessons the church in Kenya can pick from Europe. Lesson number one is that the church has a place that cannot be replaced. And a church has to stay, to stay clean. It has to stay clean out of politics. The church will control, will guide, will lead, but it cannot dine with the politicians. Once you dine with the politicians, you cannot draw the line in between. At the Cathedral of Barcelona, it was business as usual. Thousands walked through the gates of the monumental church every week to see Inside, a prayer chapel awaits those seeking solace in prayer. On Sundays, worshippers are welcome to partake in the sacred rituals. Sam Gitukos Risen TV, Barcelona, Spain. Really good feature there, huh? Fantastic reporting there, yeah. From Sam. Yeah. Well done, Sam. Good stuff.